Yeah, well, I'm Michael from TJM Hunter Valley. I was, uh, had an idea we'd come out and do a bit of camping for the night and run you through our two new cars we just finished building. Well, this is a brand new 79 series. We got it back in March uh, this year. We decided to uh, do one of the first uh, chops in the country and extend it out to a whole new chassis, 4490 GVM, four ton towing, 300 chassis extension. Big task because we hadn't done one before. Um, and we thought, well, let's build the ultimate truck for, for myself, for, for my own family and, and for display. So I'm going to quickly run you through all the little bits and pieces that we've done and um, hopefully you like it. So starting off, we um, I'll talk about all the, the front, the visible stuff. Uh, with the bull bar, TJM T13 Outback Bar. It's a very popular bull bar for us. Uh, we keep them in stock purely because they, they sell really well. They got a lot of... Uh, really good features for the 79. No plastic, winch compatible from standard, 63mm tubing. That is matched with a 12,000 pound TJM torque winch, front and rear, so we've got both winches. Uh, factor 55 hook. Um, yeah, I should be able to get out of most situations with this. Steady lights, gotta take my hat off for those guys. They uh, hooked us up with all the steady. Um, great price, great product. Great backup service. Um, come around here, TJ Stalkel, are we replacements? So no drilling holes, nice and easy. Um, Cleavy mirrors, had to do the electric ones. I didn't bother about the power fold ones um, this time. They weren't out at, at the time we built it, but um, you can easily pull them in if you wanted to. Rhino, you wouldn't do anything less on the roof. Um, Rhino tends to be the uh, market leader in this sort of stuff and you can hang everything off it. Um, this car is built, you know, for me to do weekends and trips. Did all the window tin, all the normal stuff. Uh, in the back here is probably where all the big dollars are being spent with the 300 chassis extension. We had to uh, uh, create a tray and nothing, nothing uh, out of the ordinary. It's, it's a big aluminium box, but it fitted everything I needed to fit in, including the most important thing, the beer keg. Uh, this thing's an option. You can easily pull it out and put it in your shed like I do. When we come away from trips, we usually fill up with beer and drink out of that. Um, the tray is by Mitzelli. They decided to tackle the new extension. We didn't go 300 mil longer tray than we could. We just stuck within our realms. I think it was about, ended up being about a two meter tray and jack off canopy. Uh, these guys are a local company in Newcastle. They uh, do a really good job and they worked with us and we'll be doing a fair bit of work with them moving forward. Um, everything in here is how I wanted it laid out. Um, may not be everybody's cup of tea, but it works for us. Uh, we've got all the fridges by Dometic, Enerdrive, um, 40 amp chargers, 2000 watt inverter, 200 amp lithium, uh, solar switch over for the panel. We can charge the main battery under the bonnet or the battery in here, the lithium. Big sound bar by uh, House of Sounds. We've got plenty of toolboxes um, to, to fit all the you know, recovery stuff and everything in. Uh, the back here, twin wheel holders, rear winch, and I'll show you through the show thing in a minute. Um, yeah, I can tow four tonnes, so having uh, four tonne available and four and a half tonne GVM, can't do all that at the same time. You can do eight tonne all up, but it sort of replaces what I had before uh, in the capacity, with, which was a, an F250, so this um, has got a lot more gear on it. Uh, sleeping, uh, James Baru tent. It's, like, it's called the scissor style, it's, uh, it works really well for me because uh, I just want to get into bed, you don't want to be setting up swags and all that sort of stuff. So it takes about five seconds to set up, I don't know, I haven't pulled it down yet so we'll see that a bit later. This is where the port side is, I wanted everything on the passenger side, this is where you live out. So I've got the Clearview 220, ES220, 75 litre Waco dual zone and uh, 110 litre upright by Dometic. The, um, this is a great combo. My favourite fridge is this, and people can argue all day long that they don't like the uprights because stuff falls out. I wouldn't do anything less. If you've got room for an upright, I'll do it because it's so much easier to get into than having to drop down a slide, and it's quite light and it keeps everything pretty cool. Um, this is our little panel up here. Um, did something a little bit different. Instead of being on the headboard, I just hate waste of space, so we went with a Cymarine, which is by Enerdrive, and our switching here, so I can turn the stereo on, lights on, off. Um, or USB. We left the big gap here because we're going to be putting a sound system there, but we ended up going with the uh, the sound bar on the other side. 
In here, we've got onboard air by Airbay Mantle or air tank compressor. Um, I'll have another compressor on the other side eventually. This is purely for airbags and pumping air at the moment, but it's um, we'll put another big air tank in that on there to pump the fires up later when the new TJM compressor comes out soon. Um, we've got lighting, just just all pretty basic stuff there. Nothing too exciting. Water tanks, 40 litre on the headboard, 60 litre underneath. Four minutes alloy did all that. Um, so yeah, this car's got a four inch lift, 35s. It's all legal, every state, all done pre-rego. Um, the pre-rego is nice and easy for us to install. No engineers really have to be involved. We can run the, the tyre size we, we need but having the whole chassis stretch makes this car handle really well. Um, especially, you know, on, like on the beach like we were yesterday, the first time I'd taken it out, it's only got a thousand kilometers on it, so we made it work uh, out there and tried to get it bogged and having the tires down to 15 PSI worked really well. Um, Rhino shade, pretty standard these days, two meter. Um, I'll take you under the bonnet here. So under the bonnet here, we decided to Keep it pretty simple. I'm not a person who likes chasing horsepower. I've been and done that in my younger years, riding motorbikes. Just uh, gives you unreliability. So decided to tweak it up with the tune by Streamline Automotive. Ashley over there knows what he's doing, and this thing's got nice torque curve that kicks in pretty hard down low. Just to get the airflow a bit better and quality air, so to go with the control box, the airbox. This is a 200 series air filter, so it's a bigger box with a better filter design and a better ceiling design. HPD, twin fan, these only just sort of came out the market so this will keep the temps down when it gets hot so the power should stay there you know a fair bit um, down low especially. Um, all the normal Harrop diff breathers, diesel care pre-filter fuel with diesel, um, HPD catch can, dual battery setup, there's so much wiring in these cars, especially when you're running everything back to the front and back to the back and twin winches and lights up on the roof, lights up on the canopy, lights underneath, lights at the front, um, DVD players, everything, you know, it's all here, it's all working well. We've also done a big alternator in the car, can't really see that, but it's uh, it's all sealed billet design, uh, water-cooled alternator. For what I needed for my car, uh, in the communications, I needed a, a good phone booster and a good UHF. I decided to run a Uniden 9050 UHF with a GME 4705 aerial, both whips, uh, exact the same ones for uh, phone booster as well. So, it really looks good. Uh, I reckon they're the best aerial on the market. With the wheels and tyres, decided to uh, try a few different things here. With the second stage manufacturer with J-Max, we can run up to uh, 35 inch tyre with a four inch lift. Uh, I chose nothing but the KM3s. I'm pretty passionate about this tyre because they are a great muddy. The cars aren't that quiet, but with this combo of tyre, it keeps them manageable. Um, the BFG KM3 has only been out for a year and we, we sell heaps of them because they are a really good looking tyre and they seem to work quite, quite well. Um, I'm running the ROH rims, octagons, um, something a bit different, a bit of polish. I usually like the black thing, but uh, these seem to match up with the white really well. The tyre stickers on there, those colours, you can buy them from America. They're not cheap, but just makes it stand out a bit of personalised to not look like every other black tyre on the market. This car should be you know, reliable, it should perform well and tow well. Um, so it's a pleasure to drive, especially when you're uh, spending a few hours in it. So uh, yeah, that's pretty much uh, around the car and um, hopefully you like it.